there's a Scrooge that lives in the Territory that's supposed to be your minister and my minister. He's lived in the Territory for that long. He was in Parliament when the intervention came out and he's there as the Minister for Indigenous Affairs. And he thinks what he's doing with the IAS, the removal of people from their communities is the best thing. And who's this other fool that lives over in Manly? <laughs> Saying that removal, people should make a lifestyle choice to move off their communities. What would he know about living on a community, living off the land, protecting your country, protecting your sites? Nothing. Nothing. Except the North Shores that come in on the beach. <laughs> he promised to spend two weeks in every community in Australia when he got in. What world does that fool live in? Don't live in my world. I have communities coming to my home all the time. <laughs> Adriana! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I had to say that. Um, so, you know, a lot of people have come to my house, come and gone, come and gone. They know all my family that comes from remote communities. You know, once upon a time throughout the intervention, communities in the Territory with compulsory land acquisition and the smaller communities that had less than 100 people those communities were deemed un uneconomically unviable. So, yet, they're still hanging on. There's still people living there. My grandfather, you know, still comes and goes, still lives on his country, comes and goes all the time. You know, he's made that lifestyle choice to come and visit his family in town. Not to stay, because he knows when he stayed, overstayed his welcome. <laughs> he knows my rules and my house. Now the government's saying that they can't change any legislation within the housing policy in the Territory, but yet when we were had our housing under community living or Indigenous community living areas, we had committees that evicted people and trespassed unwanted visitors. They say the crime has dropped in the Territory, but me sitting on the outskirts of Alice Springs on my town camp, I know that, you know, things haven't changed. I see, still see, you know, alcohol domestic violence, I still see alcohol related Everywhere. social, you know, yeah. Everywhere. So we know, you know, there are problems. And we know that over the years that we tried to work so hard, you know, a lot of our Aboriginal organisations are nearly 50 years old. It took Aboriginal people and non-Aboriginal people to the streets for us to get our services right across the country. We have them today and that's why they exist in states and territories. We have our health services. We had our job network centres that provided a service for our people to find jobs. We can no longer live under dictatorship, so we need to get back out onto the streets. You know. You know, so anybody can say something about being a racist, you know. I'm not a racist, but you look at what the federal government's created. You know, suspended the Racial Discrimination Act to put a policy on Aboriginal people just living in designated areas, communities, outstations and camp, town camps in the, in the Territory. And now they're doing it to Western Australia Slowly they're moving to South Australia. No town or city is prepared for the influx. Housing is a human right. Everybody should have a roof over their head. Every child should have a roof over their head.
Everybody should have food on the table. Everybody should have a job. Everybody should have clothing on their back. Once our services go down the drain along with, because of the government's created it by their policies, who's gonna help us then? You know, maybe I should go over to Manly with my little family and ask Abbott and the residents over there if they can help me. If I can go and sleep in their lounge room. If I can go and eat off their table. Because I know, people who know me, they know that I put my house up for all my family. So if my family are going to be getting kicked out of their homes and I give up mine, I want to go to Abbott's. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.